I'm not sure if you noticed, but as soon as I was done telling jokes, they clapped like twice as loud for you to save the comedy. <laughs> McKinley, you're, you're like Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're our only yes. hope. Do you have a joke for us, McKinley? Yes. Okay, uh, just one or multiple jokes? Just one. Okay, this is it. This is the main course, everybody. McKinley, let us have it. What do you call a cat that eats beans? What do you call a cat that eats beans. Hmm. Uh, well, not Garfield, because he eats lasagna. I don't know, McKinley, what do you call a cat that eats beans? Puss and toot. Puss and toot! Oh, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Where'd that joke come from? I love it. Just like what you said, the internet. Oh! Ye old Google! Everyone's favorite comedy writer. Yes, the people at Google have been hard at work writing jokes, crafting them for our use here on Family Radio. You just gotta make sure to write in jokes for kids when you're doing that search, because if you don't, well, some other jokes show up. McKinley, thanks for making us laugh! You're welcome. And maybe if, if you're having a problem with beans and toots in the car, just roll the window down, air it out a little bit, save yourself, McKinley. Save yourself, <laughs> audience. Give it up for McKinley in Massachusetts. It's stinky in that car.